Well, we are keeping track of how money from the new Infrastructure Act is being spent rebuilding the region. The Transportation Secretary is in Philadelphia today as the White House announces funding to rebuild bridges in Pennsylvania. Eyewitness News reporter Howard Monroe joins us from the Art Museum now, where he just finished speaking with Pete Budabit, Judge. Good afternoon, Howard. Good afternoon to you, Jim. Yes, over the next five years, Pennsylvania will get $1.65 billion just to repair its bridges. Now, one of the bridges that is badly in need of repair is the MLK Bridge here. It's been closed to vehicular traffic since the pandemic and is deemed unsafe. The U.S. Department of Transportation reports Pennsylvania has the second highest number of bridges in any state that are deemed unsafe. Over 3,000 of them have been identified. 80 of them are in Philadelphia. Under a new funding formula that comes along with the one trillion dollar bipartisan infrastructure bill, the federal government is paying for 100 percent of the cost of construction. Previously, it was a combination of funds from federal, state, and local governments. Here's part of our conversation with Secretary Buttigieg. Administration after administration, president after president, has tried to get infrastructure done. Uh, president Biden finally made it happen, and that was with bipartisan support, uh, with leadership uh, like the the delegation uh, that that was with us today, uh, and uh, people around the country who just believe and know that it's time to have better roads and bridges in the United States. A big part of that's coming to Pennsylvania because a big part of the need is in Pennsylvania. Now, these funds will begin to be distributed next week. Now, one of the folks who decided not to vote for this bill was Republican Senator Pat Toomey. He said at the time that this bill was too expensive and also too unpaid for. We'll have much more on the impact that this bill will have on Pennsylvania coming up when we see you at 4 o'clock. But for now, live at the Art Museum, Howard Monroe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Howard.